Hello and welcome to episode four of NCIA Today, brought to you by NCIA's seventh annual Cannabis Business Summit. Here we are at the end of April 2020, and I'm your host, Bethany Moore, NCIA's Communications Manager. The last time I checked in with you was the end of March, as we had all just begun adjusting to the CDC guidelines for social distancing and isolation, and the resulting cancellation and postponement of events across the country. So since then, the NCIA team has been doubling down, if not quadrupling, on resources and information for you, NCIA members, to keep informed, inspired, and a sense of connection while we're separated. You may have noticed more insightful podcast episodes and educational webinars being offered every week. So make sure you're receiving our weekly email newsletter, The Canna Business Leader, in your email inbox every Wednesday morning so you don't miss a thing. During these difficult times, the team here at NCIA is working hard to provide you the most relevant information about how COVID-19 is impacting the cannabis industry, which in many states where it's legal has been deemed an essential business. This is great news for the momentum of our industry. Definitely check out our special informational page on our website for resources and updates at www.thecannabisindustry.org slash COVID-19. The knowledge and insight of NCIA staff and members is now coming to you digitally in our new educational webinar series called Industry Essentials. Check out the recordings of recent webinars on crisis communication strategies during COVID-19, as well as good manufacturing practices in the age of COVID-19, with more to come every week. There's also some great blog article resources with best practices and advice for running your business during the best of times, as well as during times of crisis. We also celebrated Earth Day last week with an educational webinar focused on sustainability practices in cultivation. If you missed it, keep an eye out for when we release the full recording on our website. Let's check in with NCIA's social media manager, Vince Chandler, to hear some of the highlights we saw in social media this last month around the cannabis industry and ways for you to get involved in one of our new online campaigns. Hello, Vince. Hey, Bethany. It's great to see you in 2D. I look forward to it being in person again someday. You know, this sudden pivot to digital communications for everyone from our lawmakers and regulators to my daughter's teachers and my yoga instructors has really had the world online suddenly filled with very cool new content and with it, some awesome new engagement opportunities. And while coronavirus has certainly created uncertainties across the board in every industry, as an emerging one, cannabis has had our own unique curve that we've had to follow. With the exception of only Massachusetts, every state with a legal market has deemed cannabis as essential in one form or another. And in the wake of that decision, hashtag cannabis as essential has emerged online with NCIA trumpeting the message across our digital platforms. With the exclusion of not only direct to plant operators, but ancillary businesses as well from, uh, from the CARES Act, Hashtag Cannabis is Essential has really ramped up with NCIA's board of directors, our leadership team, members, and staff taking to our phones and taking to our emails to contact our legislators and call Congress to remind them to treat cannabis like every other legitimate legal business and include us in the next round of federal relief funding. Absolutely. That's great, Vince. How else can people get involved in this social media campaign? Very good question. Everyone, please share your video with us by tagging NCIA on any of the social platforms that our wonderful multimedia team has put on this screen here. And I can't wait to start seeing all of them come in and sharing all of the best with everybody across it. You know, also keeping me busy this week and this month while everybody's getting in contact online with me is NCIA's new offering of a digital sponsorship deck. 
helping our members transition to communicating with online audiences on social media, you know, the web, YouTube, podcasts, a little bit of everything is obviously a passion of mine. I really enjoy talking about it. And it has been awesome hearing the stories from our members about all of the unique and very cool ways that their companies are helping in and pitching right now to, you know, help the greater good and help the cause. Amplifying that message, however, is my expertise and how I wanna help you right now. So slide on into NCIA's or my DMs and let me know what, how we can help and I can't wait to hear from you. Bethany, you can't wait to uh, hear from you again too soon, homie. Oh, I know, I can't wait to get back in the office and thanks for sharing that super exciting news about how we're leveraging social media during these strange times. Thanks so much, Vince, I'll see you soon. Now let's shift over to our government relations and policy update brought to you by NCIA's 10th Annual Cannabis Industry Lobby Days. Let's head virtually to Northern California, where our Executive Director Aaron Smith is working safely at home. Hey, really cool Zoom background, Aaron. <laughs> Thanks, Bethany, it's good to see you. Uh, so let's dive right into two topics that are at the top of everyone's mind right now. COVID-19 relief for the cannabis industry and where the Safe Banking Act is at right now. Yeah, thanks. So, um, you know, I think as everybody knows by now, unfortunately, legal cannabis businesses are not eligible for the disaster relief loans or other federal stimulus programs that are included in the current COVID-19 legislation. Um, of course, NCIA sees this as an unacceptable situation. Our industry employs nearly a quarter of a million Americans and has, been, has actually been deemed essential in, in most states during this crisis. Um, our team in Washington, D.C. is working uh, very hard to advocate for a uh, change to this policy with our allies in Congress. Of course, they're not able to walk the halls of Congress uh, physically uh, like they used to, uh, but they're working the phones, working email, and um, actually a, uh, a bipartisan group of about three dozen members of the House of Representatives uh, and several senators recently signed on to a letter that called on congressional leadership to include fair access to the Small Business Administration programs in the next COVID-19 relief bill, which uh, we expect to, to be passed you know, within, within a matter of weeks. Also, uh, Congressman Blumenauer and Perlmutter introduced the Emergency Cannabis Small Business Health and Safety Act. Uh, this is legislation that would allow businesses in the industry to access the COVID relief loans uh, and uh, as we, we will continue to push this legislation uh, as our primary focus this uh, the, right now during this crisis uh, and also looking for any avenues to provide relief to the industry. So what about safe banking at this point? Well, you know, the, the, we're, we're all acutely aware of the additional challenges that the industry's lack of banking services pose during the crisis. And, uh, you know, for one, uh, handling cash is uh, not safe for a number of reasons, for uh, public safety reasons, but now for public health reasons. Um, but more than that, uh, even as uh, even if the SBA programs were made available to the industry, uh, you would not be able to access those loans without access to banking. Um, there is, uh, uh, of course, the Safe Banking Act, which has been passed through the House last year, uh, thanks to the, the support of our members and the hard work of our, our team in D.C., uh, and we are continuing to push for the passage of safe banking through the Senate, um, even during this crisis, and will certainly after the crisis if, if it doesn't get, get through soon. Um, but uh, also more, in a more pressing way, uh, exploring options for including safe banking in uh, a COVID relief uh, package in the, in the near future. Now that we're in a new paradigm where face-to-face -face business interactions are legally barred from taking place, it's a great time to develop a solid digital strategy to keep up with the times. NCIA's business development team is ready to work with you on keeping your brand top of mind with one of our new digital marketing opportunities with over 30 options available. Give us a call at 303-557-0081 or email sponsorships at thecannabisindustry.org. As far as trade shows and networking events, we're looking forward to this being over and doing all our events starting in late August. NCIA's 10th Annual Cannabis Industry Lobby Days will take place in Washington, D.C. on September 15th through 17th. 
right after Congress returns from August recess and just weeks before we all head to the polls. NCIA's seventh annual Cannabis Business Summit and Expo will still be taking place in San Francisco at the Moscone Center, but the dates have been moved to September 29th, 30th, and October 1st. And for the first time ever, it looks like cannabis products will be making a live appearance on the expo floor. There's a lot to look forward to. That's it for this month's episode of NCIA Today. So thank you for tuning in while you're staying safe and sheltering in place.